today I'm going to walk you through how to create a content brief using the Search Atlas Content Suite. We'll begin in using the Content Planner. First, enter your target keyword or keyword you'd like to see keyword clusters for. Change the target location if needed, then click Create Content Plan. The tool will produce content keyword clusters organized by topic. After looking through your choices, select a cluster that best reflects your needs and is realistic for your site to rank for. Generally, the keyword clusters marked easy with high search volumes have the greatest organic traffic potential. Keep this in mind as you compare your options. For example, this cluster has an easy keyword difficulty. However, it only averages an estimate of about 100 searches per month, so we will not choose this one. For our example, we're going to choose Plants Indoor Low Light. It has a moderate keyword difficulty, but a high search volume. Once you've selected a cluster, deselect any keywords you do not want to target. Then click Create New Article. The Content Planner will automatically create a document with these keywords in the SEO Content Assistant tool. As the keyword metrics load, you can check to see if the tool populated suggested links for you. Agencies and freelancers will likely want to enter their client's homepage or another page on the site where the content will live. Once the links load, select the drop down menu beside the document status. Select Export, then XLS. This will create a spreadsheet that can be opened in Google Sheets. Your spreadsheet will be the source for most of your data for your content brief. In order to make the information a little easier to read, I like to modify the cells to wrap around text. I also rename the document to make it easier to locate in the future. I'm now going to go through and widen some cells and do the wraparound text throughout the document. I sped it up a little bit here, but the whole process only takes about a minute. While you do not have to go through this formatting, I find it makes it a lot easier to work with the document and find the information I need later. Once that's done, open the document you will use for your content brief or use our template and modify the header for your company. Once the document's ready, you will begin moving back and forth between tabs with your spreadsheet as well as the document, copying and pasting the data that you want to move over into the content brief one at a time. To do so, select the data that you want to move, copy it, then once you're back in your brief, do paste without formatting. A quick key for this is Command Shift V or Control Shift V. As you go through, clean up any data that isn't relevant to your content writer. In this case, I leave the search volume as well as the keyword difficulty because that helps our content writers better understand which of the target keywords are most important. Feel free to change the formatting to whatever best suits your needs. Fill in your due date based on when you want to get the content back from your writer. You will also want to include the writer's name in order to make the revision process and tracking content easier in the future. As for your word count, you can take the average length of the ranking URL's content or you can use the guidelines set in the SEO Content Assistant tool. After entering the word count, you will want to enter the expected content score you want the writer to produce based on the ranking content or your company's standards. 
Next, you'll return to the SEO Content Assistant to copy the share link so that your writer can work directly in the SEO Content Assistant tool by clicking the link. If your writer is working within the SEO Content Assistant tool, you're good to go. If not, you'll want to provide them with some more details using the same method we used before. This includes locating the details you want to include within the spreadsheet, then copying them and pasting them over to your Google document within the correct section. When creating my content briefs, I like to turn any list into a checklist by highlighting it, then going over to the bullet section and selecting the checkbox option. Continue the process of moving the data over through the copy and paste method, followed by reformatting it to make it easier for your writer to follow. I also like to include a link to the spreadsheet in case the writer needs more information or would benefit from more details. If you would prefer your writer to have the details of something more specific like the focus terms, you can include the link there as opposed to at the bottom of the document. With some slight fine tuning, you have a completed content brief that's ready to be sent to your writer. Using this method with the SEO Content Assistant in the Search Atlas Content Suite has saved our team a lot of time. And as you can see, it creates easy to follow content briefs with plenty of details to help your writer create rankable content.